Farming, an essential element of our planet's development, has been evolving over the last 10,000 years. With new techniques, new machinery, and new research, the farming world is modernizing along with everything else. But, as with all industries, certain aspects remain stuck in the past. Products that worked in the 80s haven't changed, and farmers are happy to stand with proven methods without seeing if there are newer, more effective solutions. Christian Hansen, one of the world's leading biotechnology companies, refuses to stand still, and for over 145 years, they have worked to enable sustainable agriculture, better food, and healthier living for animals and humans around the world. In fact, over 1 billion people consume a Christian Hansen ingredient every single day. This research includes the Silosol range, next generation silage inoculants that include revolutionary patented technology that not only provides stable silage, but removes yeasts and molds at the source without relying on the traditional method of flooding silage with lactic acid, which in itself is a feed source for yeasts and molds. With this knowledge, Forage Technology set out to approach those skeptical about using a silage additive for various reasons. Asking them to try Silosolv FC for one year and documenting their authentic harvesting journey. Three farmers got involved and here are their stories. Alistair Shepherd is a dairy farmer based in Carlisle, England. Uh, we've used silage additives before but probably going back about 10 years ago. It's a, a difficult question to quantify because we use them and you use them under advice and this is going to do this, this and this. Um, you don't really notice the difference. As the years go by, additives keep moving forward. So I, I thought I'd try and see if they've improved any. Because the silosorb is a different concept to other additives. The, the, the theory behind it sounds sound. I'm hoping this additive is going to keep the, the silage in the, the trough cooler for longer. We use a contractor to make our silage. We do start mowing a bit ourselves, but the contractor generally mows most of it. Ideally, we'll get it mown and then we'll ted it within a couple of hours, but this year hasn't exactly been ideal. So it got mown one day and it was actually two days later before it got tedded. The perfect silage for me, it's a silage that the cows will milk well off, basically. The, the better they milk off the silage, the better the silage. Some, some of the older farmers will tell you the best additive sunshine. Well, you can't always get the sunshine. <laughs> With Alistair on board, we head to Shropshire to meet dairy farmer Andrew Furnival, a silage judge who isn't sure if a silage additive really makes that much of a difference. Hi, my name's Andrew Furnival, a dairy farmer. I've been farming for 20 something years. Previous experience with silage inoculants, I've always been on the cusp of not sure it'll help or not, so I sort of not spent the money, but I thought, well, let's give it a try and see. It seemed like this product should help that spoilage that you get um, through the bacteria not being there in the first instance. And what we aim to do with our silage is, say we're going uh, a multi-cut sort of system, um, four cuts that currently, well, don't know whether they'll make it this year because first cut is a bit late because it's a late season. Main challenges are obviously always the weather, always difficult to, to pick it. I guess the other challenges are at the other end in the winter, uh, trying to reduce waste once you've got a good crop in there and we try to get the sheet on and whatnot as quick as we can after silaging to reduce waste um, but we're hoping the additive will perhaps hopefully help that a little bit. Last but not least we travelled to Huddersfield to meet Tom Roberts. Yorkshire born and bred he's keen to take the reins from his father who has a very traditional mindset when it comes to additive. My dad thinks you don't need one you only need sunshine which obviously does help but I think it's just trying to make good silage better. Normally harvesting around the 10th of May, but this year with the wet weather, we've been the 30th of May. So it'd be interesting to see what we come out with for quality wise. We have a lot of it, but we don't know what it's gonna be. Perfect silage for me, be around 12 ME, protein 16 to 18%. General perception of silage additive would be, there's a lot of marketing of every company that will all do the best thing for you. We're trying Silosolve because I'm interested to see how the oxygen scavengers work and 
if we can open it within seven days safely. With the three farmers settling into the project, harvesting season begins. harvesting we caught up with our farmers. Most of the pits had only been sealed for a couple of days before we had a sneak peek inside. This is stone cold. Oh, looks good. It smells nice. Well, it's very cold. What were you expecting? It's still to be really hot and still making. It's a lot colder than I expected it to be. So I haven't made whole crop before, but that looks pretty good to me. Yeah. This is the feel, isn't it? So we opened the clamp two weeks after making it, and it was completely cold. Top were clean, sides were clean. Uh, we fed everything, didn't pick nothing out. Troughs were clean morning after. Yeah, really happy. Obviously, it were a bit older grown than we'd have liked because we were at the end of May, so the beginning but there's no fibre coming through in the muck. Butter fat's good, protein's good. Yeah, overall really happy. We wanted Silosol to keep the silage cool to take the waste off the top and the shoulders, which we've not had an additive done it before. To my surprise I've it, there's not a lot of waste at all. Maybe a little bit on the shoulders but the top is completely clean. On opening the clamps, I've been uh, pleased. It's certainly been cool quickly. We've opened them after, you know, two or three days after, and it's been really cool and, uh, yeah, just what I wanted to see, really. However, with the nature of farming, not everything goes smoothly. In summer 2021, Alistair's pit slipped. We normally go quite early in the spring, but because it was so such a late spring, everything, well, everything was a week to two weeks later which meant that the rain that you sort of normally get after first cut came before we did first cut. Some of the pits slipped, so it's taken us a week or two to get that tidied up, and it hasn't really started heating up anywhere. So that's a major plus point. It's working quite well, so the cows are actually holding condition well, milking well, and the, the silage is feeding out well. In hindsight, which is a wonderful thing, but in hindsight you would have said, well, if we went two weeks earlier like normal, taking a very light first cut would have hit all the other time periods right, but it doesn't always work like that. Early in 2022, we returned to the farms to see how our farmers were getting on and to get their final thoughts on how they found using Silosorb FC. It's good from top to bottom, like it's really good. Better than I ever expected. My expectation uh, for Silosolve, just to hope um, that I'll be able to see a difference in the crop, really. The product, it does what it says on the tin, really. I, I didn't think it would make much difference to the waste on the top, but actually this, this just seemed to have helped on that, on that front. When we've opened them up, you know, day two after, Silagin, they've been nice and cold. In the costings, the milk from forage has improved by a couple of litres, so that, that was that was excellent. There's been less waste on, on the, the top um, top of the, um, the clamp it's early days. It's only been the first year I've tried it. I'm pleased with it, Se seems to have made a difference. Yeah, I would say give, give it a try. We use Silosol and yeah, it's worked. I've been surprised when we opened the silage pit up at how cold the silage is. Because even after a week and we've gone into it, it's been really, really cold. I was quite surprised by that. I was surprised how well it, how well it kept as well, even though it slipped quite a lot. Every farm's different, but from my experiences, I would quite happily use it and recommend it for other farms to use. I think it probably has met my expectations. You know, I did hope it would keep the silage better, and it has. 
and in the fact of how cold it was when we opened the silage bit up, uh, that's probably exceeded my expectations. Yeah, I would use it again. I'll be using it again next year <laughs> because, as I say, it keeps the silage cold. So I just wanted it to keep it stable when we were using it, keep it cold, just keep the top clean, keep the shoulders as clean as we can, just so we can use everything we're not picking out every day. And if it can do that, it's done its job for us, really. We've normally previously been around like 30, 35 litres. We've been three weeks late, end of May, harvesting instead of like first week or two. We expected to be right down at like 28 litres, whereas we, we've only dropped two litres really. And it's more than I ever expected. You've got a mould or waste issue, use it. If you've wanted to keep it stable, use it. So yeah, I've got no faults with it. Might sound like I'm trying to sell it, but I'm not. It's, it's there to see. Oh, I'd definitely use it again. It's done its job, and it's as simple as that. If I want a silage additive, all it needs to do is work. And it has done. As the project draws to a close, and our farmers prepare themselves for another fantastic year on their farms, we're proud to say that with 1.2 million tonnes of silage lined up to be treated already this year, the Silosoft range is paving the way for next generation silage technology. And it's been made clear by some of Silosolve's newest users that seeing really is believing.